Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to the course on symmetry, stereochemistry and applications. In the previous lecture, we, were, we have discussed about asymmetry and dissymmetry. So, in this lecture, we are going to discuss on the stereoisomerism and local symmetry. So, what we know about chiral molecules that have C1 point group symmetry. So, molecules are not superimposable on uh, its mirror image just like the right hand and left hand cannot be superimposed, the chiral molecules have C1 symmetry. So, they cannot be superimposed on their mirror image. In certain molecules, a given type of atom may have different side symmetry depending on its connectivity in the molecule. For example, a tetramethyl aline. So, if we try to draw tetramethyl aline here, what we see is this. So, this particular carbon has a symmetry C1 this particular carbon has a symmetry C 2 and also this particular carbon has a symmetry C 2 plus 2 perpendicular C 2s which essentially means a D 2 symmetry. So, different atoms in a molecule can have different side symmetry present in the molecule. This side symmetry of atoms in molecules falls into two classes chiral and achiral. So, in a molecule a site of a carbon atom can be of two types can be a chiral site or an achiral site. Any atom within a molecular framework is to be is said to be chirotopic if its side symmetry is chiral that is the atom resides in a chiral environment. Any atom within a molecular framework is said to be achirotopic if its side symmetry is achiral that is the atom is located on a plane of symmetry or at the point where the alternating axis of symmetry interacts in reflection plane. So, we will try to understand this in the next few slides. Let us try to see what happens in case of 2, 3, 4 trihydroxy pentanoic acid. So, what we see in this molecule that we have 3 chiral centers marked as 2, 3 and 4 and as you can see that this molecule can have different configurations at the chiral centers 2, 3 and 4 depending on the orientation of the OH groups whether it is on the right hand side or left hand side of the vertical line in this Fischer projection. So, what we see here is the centers C 2 and C 4 are stereogenic and chirotopic. What do we mean by stereogenic center? That means, at the point 2 and 4 we have three different groups associated with it or rather four different groups associated with those points. So, that is the chiral center 2 and 4 have four different groups associated with them. So, they are stereogenic centers and also they are chirotopic centers because they are in chiral environment. But in case of C 3, we say that it is a non stereogenic center, but a chirotopic center. 
what does it mean to understand that we need to find out the absolute configurations of the points 2 and 4 so in case of points 2 and 4 if we try to identify the the priority order of those groups to identify whether it is R or S, we should get the priority list done first. So, this OH group is priority 1, the carboxylic acid group has a priority 2 and the group at the down has a priority 3. So, when we go from 1 to 2 to 3, it is rotating in anticlockwise direction. So, it should be R, but when we see the lowest priority group is in the horizontal line. So, the actual priority, actual identification of this chiral center should be S. Similarly, if we do the same for the chiral center 4, this is point 1, priority 1, this is the priority 2 and that group is priority 3. So, if we do 1 to 2 to 3, what we see is it is again anticlockwise and the lowest priority group is in the horizontal line. So, this center is also S. As a result, this, this particular uh, carbon that is C3 is a non stereogenic center because the groups above and below have the same chirality. So, those two groups are not different, but then why it is chirotopic? Because the environment here has four groups which are different. So, they uh, it is a chirotopic center. So, what we see here is that this molecule is achiral because the groups on top and the bottom are same and therefore, this molecule is optically inactive. If we see the other isomer of this compound where all the three OH groups are on one side, what we see the center C 2 and C 4 are stereogenic and chirotopic as it was before. But center C 3 is now stereogenic. Why? Because this carbon is absolute configuration S. This carbon has now changed the position of OH. So, this carbon has the configuration R, but this point number 3 has a mirror plane passing through it. As a result, this particular carbon C 3 is not in an chiral environment. Therefore, this center is called the achirotopic center. Therefore, this compound which has a mirror plane is called a meso compound and hence this compound is also optically inactive. Now, let us try to see with another example of mesotartaric acid. So, in this case where what we have, we have two carbon centers C 3 and C, C 2 and C 3, both C 2 and C 3 are chirotopic and stereogenic centers because in both the cases you have different substitutions present. Uh, at this carbon C 2 and C 3 and this molecule has a mirror plane that is present. Therefore, this molecule is called the meso compound or meso tartaric acid. Therefore, this compound is an achiral compound and therefore, optically inactive. Now, what we are trying to do is we are trying to replace the H by chlorine on C 3. So, this hydrogen is now replaced by chlorine on C 3. So, what has happened here is that 
Both C2 and C3 are as before chirotopic and stereogenic and the mirror plane which was present before is now absent. Therefore, this molecule is converted to a chiral molecule and therefore, it is optically active. Now, let us try to understand a new term called pro stereoisomerism. Prochiral molecules are those in which the replacement of a single ligand leads to a chiral center. That means, you have a molecule where you select one particular atom and replace it with something else, then you generate a new chiral center and the compound becomes a chiral molecule, then that particular carbon center is called a prochiral center and the molecule is called a prochiral molecule. So, let us see this with a very simple example of ethanol. So, in case of ethanol, if we replace one hydrogen of the CH2 group here by chlorine, we get this particular molecule which is 2 chloroethanol and what we see is the second carbon here, here or the rather the carbon number 1 with which the C L and O H are connected is a chiral center and this becomes a chiral compound. So, by doing this a prochiral center which is this one in an achiral molecule which is ethanol is transformed to a chiral stereogenic center by a single replacement. So, then we call ethanol as a prochiral molecule and C 1 of ethanol is a prochiral center. So, pro stereogenic center is defined as the center bearing homomorphic atoms or groups which can be converted into stereogenic center by replacing one of the homomorphic atoms or groups by a different atom or group. So, we will understand this by the following example. So, in this particular compound what we see is it is simple chloroethene. So, the carbon which is marked as red is a pro stereogenic center and those two hydrogens are called the homomorphic atoms. The other carbon in white color is a non stereogenic center the other carbon is a non stereogenic center. So, when we try to replace H A by chlorine we get this molecule. So, what we see is now that both the centers are stereogenic and achiral centers. So, let us try to take one more example to understand pro stereoisomerism. So, in this example if you can see there are two hydrogen atoms H A and H B located on the chiral car located on the carbon center 3. These two hydrogens are homotopic hydrogens because these replacement of these two by another group will mean that it will re result into the same compound. So, if we replace H A by O H we would grate this particular compound. So, now what we see here that C 3 has been converted to a chiral center, but not a stereogenic center. So, how? Let us try to identify the absolute configurations of the carbon centers 2 and 3. So, when we try to find out the absolute configuration of 2 and 3, we need to identify the priority order of the groups connected to carbon number 2. So, this group O H is 1, this C O 2 H gets priority 2 and the group here gets priority 3. So, 1 to 2 to 3 anti clockwise. So, it should be S, but the lowest locant the lowest priority group is in the horizontal line. So, the absolute configuration of that center should be R. On the other hand 
for the chiral center 4, this OH group is 1, carboxylic acid is 2 and that group on the up is 3. So, again if we go from 1 to 2 to 3, it is anticlockwise, so should be S, but this lowest priority group is in the horizontal line, so this group should be R. So, what we see here is that the two groups at 2 and 4 have same absolute configuration. So, this center 3 is not a stereogenic center that center 3, but it has been converted to a chiral center by replacement of 1 hydrogen by OH group. So, therefore, C 3 is pro chirotopic, but not pro stereogenic center. And if we replace H A or H B by any other group say chlorine, bromine, whatever other than O H, still that C 3 carbon center will become chiral, but non stereogenic center. So, we will continue this lecture from here in the next class. Thank you.